how good are you at telling whether an attack is gonna triple or not? If I showed you three clips and left the last 30 seconds off all of them, would you be able to tell me which one ended in a triple? Let's try it out. Our first clip is from the one and only Barry the Fatal, AKA Fat Lad Barry, AKA Fatality Wonder. I don't know. Um, okay, so he's going in, it's Queen Charge Barge on a Town Hall 15. It is Queen Charge Barge. Now it's a very, very, very young Town Hall 15, CBG. Now, CBG, if you're watching this, don't give away in the comments whether it was a triple or not. I don't want people knowing in advance, yeah? Don't, you know, because you're very good at keeping secrets, and I like that. Queen Chargent from the top up at 11 o'clock. He's going to... Ooh, okay. Look at all the sneakies. He's got 20 million sneakies. So he's going to use them for the town hall, guaranteed. Which means he's just going to Queen Charge. He's got a big old Queen Charge for the rest of the base. Uh, he's got a wall wrecker selected as well. Oh, he is. He's sending the wall wrecker in. What's the war record for? I mean, the Queen's tanking all the defenses, other than probably the, the Tesla, yeah, the Tesla and the Wizard Tower, but... Okay, the, and the enemy Queen's on the wall record now as well. So what, what's in the wall record? Is it someone to take out the enemy Queen, maybe? No. No, it's Yetis. It's Yetis. No! Okay, they're not gonna, they're not gonna do much over there. Queen is still going, though. He's gonna charge the Queen through the core of the base, but looks fit. He's got the King down. Got the Grand Warden down there as well on the left hand side over at nine. They're gonna push through this bottom side. Gonna try and charge the Queen into the core, into that middle multi. RC's down to help the King as well. So definitely, yeah, the Queen stalled up a little bit on the CC trips. It's only Ice Golem, so it's fine. She's not in, her healers aren't in range of any Inferno. She's not in range of anything that's gonna be a problem. We've got the Skelly spell down right next to the enemy RC, the Eagle, the, the Mortar, the Archer tire, the scatter shot, everything. Um, and the warden's ability, beautifully timed, protects everything through the first barrage of that scatter shot and the first hits of the monolith. Queen's gonna take out the enemy queen now. Ooh, this look good. This looking really good. Look, town hall, boom. He's managed to get the town hall. Sneakies are on there. And it's gone. Uh, he's still got RC moving through, he's still got warden moving through, he's still got RC ability in the pocket, he's got spells. Man, is this a triple? Ooh. Fatal, fatal, fatal. Let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> Mass, I've already told you. I've done too many videos with you already. You can't have another video. Don't be greedy. Just take your turn like everyone else. Oh, oh um, I'll call you back. Uh, this is the part of the video where I say, Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and all that kind of jazz, and you know, do what, do what they say. Hey, yee. hit that like button. You know you want to. Calling me again. There you go. Couldn't have made it clear myself. See you later. Now our next clip is from Call from Keepers, and it's a Blizz Snowlow. It's a Blizz Snowlow. Oh, I love this. I love this. Ice Hound, the best troop in any game on the planet. And if you disagree, you're an idiot. Here we go. We're going to use a Warden Protected Blizz to get the Town Hall. We're starting right up. I mean, the angle. The angle is perfect. And we had to start there to get the right angle. So it's going to be a Warden Protected Blimp. I've seen Mr. Sakinto do this without the Warden, actually. But I wouldn't. Wow. We got really close to that town hall. Like, really close. Did we need to? Oh, is everything going to die off? I mean, it's a decent percentage for a warden protected blimp, though. I'd want more. I'd want way up there in, like, the 20-plus percent mark. Still, decent value for a blizz. Pulling the, the, the Ice Hounds away right up to the, the, the right-hand side over at 3 o'clock. We've got the King, the Queen, and Ice Golem down now. Where we wanted more value from the Blizz, to be honest. But I'll tell you what. There's a lot of damage in there. Like, he Blizzed into Bomb Tires, Scatter Shots, Poison Tires. Like, a lot of damage in there. Even that, that Rage Tire would have helped. 
but he's he's getting decent value now. RC is now moving in too. He's got he's got 26 loons for this Snolo. It's not a Lalo, it's a Snolo. So he's got 26 loons for this. This is a big Snolo. Which way is he going to come in though? Okay, so he's coming in from this bottom. Is he? No, he's going to come in from the top as well. He's going to try and wrap everything around. Here we go. So we got the Ice Hound moving into the first single. Ice Hound moving into the the next towards the next air defense. Uh, tanking both singles. Oh, those singles go to the, the, the loons now. But look at look at the freeze radius, man. Freeze radius on those ice hounds is massive. Massive, massive, massive. It's one of those. Definitely one of those. And it's a, it's a triple. Is it a triple? Oh, his loons are dying out though. Oh, hang on. Can he get this? Can he get this? Queen's gonna have to go to ability. No, he's got the invisible spell. Can he get it? He's got 37 seconds left. The queen's tied up. He's not got loads of cleanup left. Ooh! Is he gonna get this one? And our final clip. It's only Scrappy Coco. Now Scrappy is uh Scrappy breeds rabbits for a living. He um he's the he's the original Easter yeah. bunny. Um so yeah. I think. I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me these things. Is he going to triple though? Super Bowl Smash isn't something that he does very often, so I don't know about this one. Scrap is more of a Lalo player. Tunnel 15 has kind of ruined that for him because Lalo is a lot more difficult. Um, so I think he's trying out some ground attacks. This is one that he's been playing around with. I've not seen him play with this yet, so I don't know how good he is. Oh, he's got regular wall breakers, so he's only going in with the, the one super troop. Interesting. He must be saving up for, yeah, he's saving up for hero upgrades. I can see he's only got a level 81 king. So he's got the warden doing some fine work up there. Flame Flinger over on the right hand side, getting some decent value. Going to take out the warden statue as well. Here we go. We got beautiful path now into the core of the base. We got only one jump spell though. Interesting. Only one jump spell. What's the plan? What is the plan, Scrappy? We got no wall breakers left. Jump spell gets him into the core. Triple bowler bounce will be enough to get the town hall if he gets them into the right spot. Got some troops moving round the outside. There's an electro titan there with them. Is that going to be able to get the town hall? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, look. Everything in the core is getting battered by these eagle shots. King's gone the abilities. Just the queen and RC ability left. We've got super bowlers on the town hall now. Queen's moving in too. She should decide to move further round the outside of the base. Yeah, look, she is. She's walking. Still got the eagle going. Oh, no. Super Bullers are on the eagle. Oh, they died off. All the Super Bullers died off. And the witches that were helping them died off. This is now it's all down to the heroes. We've got a minute and eight. I mean, there's loads of time. Like, there is a whole load of time to finish this attack. Can he get it? 59 seconds left. I mean, with two hero abilities and the warden still moving through as well, plus those healers... Like, this, this looks good. I'd be looking at this during a, a, a war and I'd be thinking, yeah, he might be okay here. He might get this. If his queen decides to go that way, that is. He might actually get this. Queen still got her ability, man. What do you think? Do you think this one is the triple? Let me know in the comments. Well, which one do you think was the triple? Tune in next week when I... Uh, not going to make you wait till next week. Come on. Let's have a look and see which one it was. Here we go. Here is the end of Fatal's attack. Comes so close to being a triple, but he doesn't quite get it. And this was beautiful. I mean, who gets this close to a Queen Charge Barge? I know it's a baby turn all 15, but Fatal is so good at these attack strategies. Man, I remember seeing this live. I was bouncing up and down on my seat, hoping it would triple, but so close. And what about Scrappy Coco? Now, Scrappy as well. This was so close to being a triple two. If his queen had stayed alive for a few seconds longer, this was definitely a triple. It came down to the warden. We know how slow the warden is at cleaning these bases up. The queen would have had a much easier time of doing this, but it was such a beautiful attack still. Scrappy is doing such a good job with these super bullet smashes. Keep up the good work, my friend. Let's have a look at the actual triple. And by now you've obviously worked out that the triple was from the one and only call from Keepers Alliance. You all know who he is. This was a beautiful snow low hit. 
Probably my favorite of all the triples in the last CW Elephant Keepers. I'm expecting big things this time around, buddy. Be nice to do a whole call video, maybe. See what happens this CWL. But GG on the trip, man. I, uh, did you guys guess which was in the right one? And that is it for another video. If you enjoyed this type of content, let me know in the comments. I'd love to bring you more of this stuff. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, don't forget, hit that like, subscribe, follow button. Do all those things. I'll be back very soon with more Clash of Clans from Bastag Gaming. See you later.